that's what football is all about. It's what I love. Uh, I enjoy coaching the corners. I enjoy being with those guys. So, I mean, this is what the passion comes from. Do you like this format with uh, having half the team Always in the have morning, done it. half in the afternoon? Yeah, especially with a young football team and, you know, not just freshmen, but some junior college players. This is their first two day. So we're able to uh, spend a little bit more time because the lines aren't as deep. And we really strive on technique sound. So we're going to do that till Thursday, and then Friday we'll come back together as a team. Your initial impressions of Aaron Bailey? Obviously, you haven't had much time with him. Well, first practice, I thought he made uh, some decent decisions, had a couple bad decisions, but uh, he's got a stronger arm. Uh, you know, you've seen him on TV, or you've seen him uh, through high school where he, they were running the football a lot, and that's what they do at Bolingbrook. But uh, his arm is uh, a lot stronger, as, uh, as I really thought it was. Any updates on the this uh, McDowell? Same, same, same. Uh, you know, we hope to, uh, as they progress, um, you know, throughout spring or throughout preseason, I'll be able to tell you more. Uh, but right now, they'll be uh, shelved until uh, at least by uh, Friday. Is it the handle? It's his knee. Yeah, it's his knee. Just uh, McDowell was the same injury he had during the spring. Hurt it uh, during the spring, and he's. Uh, it's just continuous with the foot, and then uh, Vontra also has the foot. Overall. Do you feel like the first practice went well? Obviously, you know, it's for not going to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. for, for 52 of them. Now we've got 53 of them coming out this afternoon. But uh, I'm anxious. I mean, as a football coach, I'm anxious. We're all trying to get better. I'm proud of their commitment for the last eight months. We're going on the uh, ninth month now. So uh, let's keep this thing rolling. Is it good just to finally get out here and put, you know, all the talk of the offseason? Get out, here. Just get out and play. That's what the game's all about is, is between these white lines. So we've got to get better and we've got to prove that we're willing to, to do it for 60 minutes and uh, that's why we're practicing at these tempos and we're getting the reps we need to get. What was it like having uh, West Olympic here? Uh, you know, West didn't get a whole bunch of reps, but West was out here learning the system. You know, again, I'm happy to have Nathan and, and uh, Aaron Bailey and, and, and Wes. So, you know, it's, it's good to see Wes here because of the type of kid Wes is and what he brings to the table just even more than just being a great football player. Coach, so I missed just first day. Just thoughts? Uh, excited to be back. Anxious to see what the kids had been doing this summer. Uh, you step back, you're, you're proud of your strength, strength staff because we have made strides. You can see bodies that are different. You know, Mason Monheim and Mike Satina, who hasn't been out yet, but the freshmen that played last year, they had never been through a winter workout. They had never been through a spring football. And how much their bodies have changed in just 12 months. Who's in charge of the music? Well, <laughs> that's good. George Anassis, and he is our, our uh, we talk about that. We really do. And, uh, you know, we've gone into studying it even more and more. I know that, uh, you know, I'll mention that Coach Kelly is one that we really tried to learn some things from and, you know, just things that, uh, of different times and what to play. So we do talk about that because I think there's things to be mentioned about the way that you play. Yeah, we're going to make sure that it's uh, the, what we all want to hear. You talked about the body sizes. Freshmen, are there any that stick out that can make it any uh, well, they're going to have to. Um, personally, I worked with the corners all day today, and Jalen Dunlap's our only corner that we brought in, and he impressed me. He really did. So we've already been with Mosley, and I've already been with Casley, so we know about those two. Um, I, I got to be with Dunlap more, so I saw that I, I think he's got a chance. Uh, I think the safeties definitely have a chance. Um, you know, and, and then I think that, uh, you know, hopefully one of those defensive ends at the Leo position, Smoot, uh, Clements and James have a chance. Offensive line, do you expect them just to be better because of the physical injury? Yeah, I, I do. I, I like what Coach Ricker's doing. Uh, I saw some, some good holes in there today, and uh, we're more of a north-south rushing attack, so uh, I'm, I, I was good to see that stuff. We didn't see a majority of the practice, but was there a group you visited most often or spent the most time? Well, I spent time? the whole time with the corners, you know, because that's what I'm coaching. I'm in the meeting rooms with the corners, and we're out here working with the corners to try to make – to, to make them the best. We're extremely young, but uh, that's what I love doing, and now that's what I'm doing. So